Hey everyone, welcome to Windy Studio and welcome to another brand new Photoshop tutorial. So today we'll be creating a simple poster for Cristiano Ronaldo. So if you are a fan of Cristiano Ronaldo, then yep, you should watch this. And also, oh, this PhD file will be available on my Patreon page. And one more thing, if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And there is a lot to cover. So without any further ado, let's dive into the video. So here we are in Photoshop and first thing first, let's create a composition. Let's go over here, click on file and click on new. And I will just go for 11 over 11, 300, uh, color mode to RGB, color bitrate to 16. And let's keep the rest as default and let's click on create. And like I did on my previous tutorial, select this layer and go to select and let's go to select subject. And yes, it's, it did a pretty good job and let's click on create max and let's drag and drop this image right over here yes now let's convert it as a smart object now control t let's make it bigger yep something like that now let's create a background let's uh, go over here apply a solid and let's go for a darker color yep something like that and now let's uh, do some Mm, color adjustment for this layer there is a lot of grain and noise so i want to remove that so select this layer go to filter and let's go to uh, camera raw filter and from here let's increase the noise reduction and let's increase the color noise reduction too and let's increase the sharpening just a little bit and let's drop down the highlights and let's increase the clarity increase the texture and let's uh, drop down the saturation for orange just like that and let's increase the red just a little bit yep maybe something like that and let's click on okay so this is what we have now let's uh, create a new layer and go to the brush and let's go for my favorite brush so i'll just go for this one and let's change the color to a little let's go for a pure white yep something like that and let's add a stroke and let's change the rotation all right now let's create a one more layer and go to another brush and this is my another brush so i'll just select this one and let's add a rotation Maybe let's increase the brush size. All right, now let's create a one more layer again and let's go for another brush. So let's see, I will just go for another explosion brush, maybe this one. And let's add some rotation. And let's make it a little smaller. Let's add right over here. Alright, now let's create a new layer and go to edit, go to fill and let's fill it with 50% gray and let's change it to soft light. And let's do some dust and burn. So go over here, add some dust. So add some dust right over here. If you want to increase the exposure, just increase this from here. And yeah, maybe let's add some right over here. And let's go for a burn tool. Yep, this is what we have. Now let's add a, a color LUT. So go over here, let's go for color lookup and from here click on load and I will just go for my Cine LUT. So select this one and click on load. So this is what we have. Now let's add a hue and saturation and let's, let's change the hue maybe right over here and let's increase the saturation. right around here and let's uh, 
make a copy of this layer one so control J and let's go for a filter and let's apply a oil paint and let's see how Yep, something like that. And from here, let's create a layer max and go to the brush. And let's go for a general brush. And make sure the color is black. And let's... I don't want those parts affecting those eyes. And maybe right around here. And maybe on here too. Alright. Now let's uh, create a one more layer and go to the brush and with the same uh, general brush let's uh, change the color to a kind of lighter yellowish color maybe right around here and let's increase the brush size and let's change the color more to overlay or maybe let's change it to soft light and maybe let's change the color to a little more lighter and let's add some right over here and maybe let's go for a little more yellowish tone And let's create a one more layer and let's change it to a little lighter. And let's change it to overlay. Right, and let's create a one more layer and let's go for a more lighter. And let's increase the brush size and let's drop down the opacity just a little touch. Maybe some more. And for this layer too, let's drop down the opacity just a little bit. You know what, like maybe let's increase uh, the saturation to maybe like plus 23 and and let's uh, drag and drop this overlay right over here and let's change the blending mode to screen control T let's make it bigger let's keep it right over here and let's bring this layer under our color LUT. now let's add some text so go over here let's add a text And let's add a curve on very top. I just increase the shadow just a little bit just to give a kind of retro look. So that's the final and that's the wrap up for today's video and I hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.